Jenny Kay. And I'm Jim Sackett. Thank you for staying with us. A unique academy dedicated to turning so-called at-risk students into model citizens closes its doors today. News Channel 5's Vince Norman tells us how the Eagle Academy's final graduating class is preparing to take flight. You're looking at the faces of troubled youth. I was disrespectful to teachers. I was disrespectful to my parents. You're looking at the faces of Eagle Academy graduates. I stand before you today as a responsible and goal-oriented young lady. And due to a lack of funding, you're looking at the faces of the last group of kids the Academy will ever help. Eagle's closing. So it's pretty sad. I know that they will be successes in the community in the future. It just changes their lives and their families' lives. It's a shame that we have to see it close so suddenly. For the staff, it's a huge loss of opportunity to help the children of Palm Beach County. I see a bunch of young kids that won't have anywhere to go. So it kind of uh, a tearful pain. But the greatest loss is surely felt by the students themselves. Without the academy, recruits like Ajani Henderson and Bridget Palmer would lack the sorely needed guidance and inner strength provided by academy staff. I used to think that I was alone in everything. It made me realize that I always have support with me, that no matter what, I have people to back me up in this. Integrity, respect, and just doing the right thing when no one's looking. I just can't imagine how it would be not to have this around. The Eagle Academy may be closing its doors for now, but those that have always believed in the program hope to bring it back in some fashion within the next two years. In Belglade, Vince Norman, WPTV, News Channel 5.